Hi, I'm Alistair Davidson, a Master Trainer for DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to have a quick look at chroma keying in the Fusion page. In a previous video, we had a quick look at chroma keying on the color page, but in this one we're going to look at the Fusion page. I have the same starting point, so you can see along the top here, I have two videos layered on top of each other. The green screenshot is on top because we're going to remove this and reveal the track below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump across to my Fusion page and under my Effects library, under Tools, I'm going to navigate to the section of tools that are the matte tools. You can see the name of each category along the top here. And I've got my chroma key here, here. Now, if I have my Media 1 node already selected, I can just click on the chroma key here. Or if I undo that, I can click and drag that chroma key here down until the connection pipe highlights and then release it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that into the viewer to make sure I'm seeing the shot that I'm working on. And then in the viewer itself, I'm just going to click and drag a small bounding box there to select the colour that I want to remove. You'll see as I play through, there are bits of this that start to creep back in, so I'll do the same thing. Just select those as we play through, just keep going through, and I might take a bit of the edge off here as well. Not too much, because I don't want to start taking out, for example, the window frame. So I'll undo that. Might just tidy that up just a little bit more. You can see as we play through here, we should now have a relatively clean key. And that'll do for us for just now or for this at least. So, once we've got this, we can actually clean it up as well using the parameters in the inspector. You can turn the inspector off using this button in the top right of the user interface. You'll see here we have a soft range tool, which we can use to slightly remove some of the edges, but I'm not going to use it too much. I can then come across to the image tab and I can look at the spill as well, so how much of that blue or green light is spilling onto the rest of our scene and how we handle it. I'm going to set that to medium and you'll see that sort of edge of the window frame has now got rid of all that green. Again, we have parameters here for how we want to handle that, how much we want to remove or how little we want to remove. We also have matte controls as well here where I can blur the edges of my mat. Again, I don't want to do too much because then the edge of the window frame starts to become transparent. Just a small amount. And now if I jump back to the edit page, you'll see we've completely keyed out that green section of our image. I hope this has been helpful. Let us know if there's anything else you want to know about DaVinci Resolve by contacting the ScanPro video team.